96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. The views and opinions of the hosts and guests are their own and do not necessarily reflect the position of the management and staff of Guardian Network. The aftermath of every social revolution brings about change. Cultural norms and landmarks shift as our minds and hearts expand beyond the familiar. To everything, there is a season and a time to every purpose in the land of the living. This is our time to renew, revive, and restore the hope lost to the busyness of life. This is our time to dig again and rebuild from the storms of our past on a solid footing that holds. Welcome to The Foundation. The Foundation. The Foundation of Hearts Grants is brought to you by Alive, Bonvo Bones, Burger King, Commonwealth Bank, Epic Battery, Grand Bahama News, Marcos Pizza, Prince Masters, and Ron's Electric Motors. This is Friday, evening, boom! The people just tired of working. Fana, fana, Lord, them hear the disco playing, boom! It make them feel like dancing. Ain't no summer set. Great and we'll be great and we'll see this co operator. Five double eighteen and a six feet. Uh. Ah, this is DJ Talk Sweet. Uh. See, Lord, him just like up with the echo chamber. But watch your man. Play the play. I didn't want to tear off the game. Them up is safe with them cast it down. I'm saying, oh, Lord, play for divine. Let's keep them alive. Good play afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. 96.9 FM radio. Howard Grant and your company, the foundation on this beautiful wet friday my god i don't know what plans you had for this weekend but uh it's look like it's gonna be wet it look like it's gonna be wet i hope you guys are good out there i hope that everything is good i hope that your tires are not bald as i continue to be able to pray for you but not necessarily for you specifically for me because i don't want your slide into my you know what i'm saying this won't be decent all right, so make sure you guys, you guys are good out there as we continue to be able to talk like that. We're talking uh, all the things is in the paper. Got to shout out my good, decent people over at AFS Insurance Agents and Brokers. They get everything laid out. Make sure you check them out. 3411AFS, 3411AFS. I'm hoping that they get the telephone together by now. But guys, if you're in the market for insurance, bulk insurance, individual insurance, personal home, family, whatever you want to be able to do, ensure that you have those particular things, you can go down to AFS Insurance Agents and Brokers, and they could take very, very, very good care of you. Ask for my good friend, Ethric Bo, or you can be able to ask for Mr. Richardson. He can be able to take good care of you. There are a tremendous amount of persons down there that can assist you, and if I dare so say, uh, they're always looking for new people. So if you're in the market for trying to get into insurance, you want to be able to prepare yourself to take the, the exam and do those particular things, you could reach out to them at AFS uh, 3411 AFS. They are located at number 407 Blue Hill Road South. So they can take very, very good care of you. Go check them out and see exactly what they're saying. They're open 9 to 5 throughout the week and 9 to 2 on Saturdays. Guys, pick up your Guardian newspaper. All the information's in there. Grand Bahama Port Authority is sole regulator for the port area. Port dismisses government assertions that IRCA is a regulator of the Grand Bahama Port Authority. The Grand Bahama Port Authority shot back. <laughs> it's peculiar how y'all have structured this situation. I don't fight you. Shot back at the Davis administration. <laughs> This, this sound like a war. Y'all need to stop. This is, this is how you structure it. I just want to be decent. Uh, the Davis administration and the Utilities Regulation and Competition Authority. Uh, it, uh, this is IRCA yesterday and asserted that it is the sole licensor and regulator of all utilities in Freeport, Grand Bahama. IRCA knows that. IRCA knows that. In Freeport, Grand Bahama. IRCA knows that. This was in an eight-mile rock. This wasn't in West Grand Bahama or East Grand Bahama. This is in Freeport proper. Erka knows that. You know that. And I, this is what I keep trying to figure out. Is this a charade that you present for those that are devoid of the information that they are not abreast to understand the workings of this particular thing? Is this what you do? 
let's be decent and talk about it. BPL working to bring 16 megawatt of generation capacity to Eleuthera. This is what the COO says. And then a missing American pilot found dead. We were looking for him for a little while. Um, they went off on a search for about two days. And after the two-day search, they actually suspended the search. And right after they suspended the search, they can be able to find him. I think it was four miles away from the airport and being able to see him out there. And uh, this is peculiar, guys. This is, uh, you know, we are in distressing times and we continue to be able to pray for our brothers and sisters who are out there. Uh, you know, sometimes you're going on an adventure. Sometimes you're going on, you know, your regular routine. But there are some obstacles in our way. And, uh, you know, we have to be able to prepare ourselves uh, not necessarily only physically, mentally, spiritually, and otherwise. Prepare ourselves to be able to meet the turbulence ahead. I believe that there is significant turbulence ahead. No, I don't want to get preachy with John. I just, I don't. I don't want to get preachy and prophetic with you and all these things. But if you could read, just learn to read. I hope in that you're not, edu you're not miseducated and you're not lacking uh, a very clear understanding of what's happening from a social standpoint, from a community standpoint, from an environmental standpoint. There's some things happening out here that we need to talk about, right? Guys, I want you to join me in conversation today. Please do. 323-623-2323, 325-4259, anywhere from the family of islands, 242-300-5720. Hit me up, 422-4796 on the text line. I think we, I'd, you know, yesterday we started to talk about this, and I want to kind of continue it with you. And uh, the lines are wide open to be able to do this. Do we have an allegiance? Is there an allegiance that we, we, the general public, we, and more specifically us in the media, the fourth estate, who has the responsibility to be able to speak on in behalf of uh, the populace, the people, do we have an unspoken allegiance? to the powers that be, government, private, and, and other sectors? Do we have a responsibility to be able to craft their language, their narrative, their concepts and ideas, and deliver that to the Bahamian people so y'all could get on board with them? I don't know. I mean, I just, just want to ask this question. I feel like it's a rhetorical question, right? But I got to ask it. Is there an unspoken something, an unwritten something somewhere that says the media has relentless and uh, relentless commitment and should always genuflect to everyone in power? I just, I just want to know this. I just want to know this. That you believe that you run my tongue. I just want to be decent with you as I ask these questions. That you scribe what you desire and etch it at the base of my tongue and I should be able to utter what you desire. This is bananas. This administration has gone and done a great deal in terms of being able to commandeer uh, a lot of people in the media. They commandeer them. They, they, uh, however you want, seconder them, whatever you want to say. They've shifted them from this particular capacity to another. And those people, many of them are satisfied, some aren't. Some aren't. I'm hearing some per persons are disappointed with the fact that they haven't gotten all the things that they say that they was gonna get when they transition from one space to another. I'm not gonna fight you. I'm not gonna fight you. But you know, this is the type of thing that uh, is bad time. It's bad time. You've already been lulled to sleep by this administration in one way or another. And then you made up your bed. It's time to sleep in that. you got to deal with that. It's bedtime. But I want to know, for me who hasn't made no allegiance, I'm out here on five hour, uh, uh, this caffeine situation. I'm wide awake doing what I have to do. No one lulled me to sleep. And then you call me with this aggression as though I supposed to say what you want me to say. You know, I had a call the other day and uh, the fella asked me, right? This is some time back. And I laugh at this because he, know, he knows who he is. I, I laughed at this. Right? <laughs> so he called me and said, how would we want you to do this thing here? 
So I say, okay, no problem. There's something that can cost you for me to do this thing here. Oh, Jesus, how about all of that? I say, cousin, you don't have to call me. You know, don't fight me, right? <laughs> so I tell you, there's something I can charge you. If you ain't want me to do it, you can go find somebody else to do it. But don't bother with me like this, right? I said, well, why are you calling me like this, right? So me and him, we talking, talking, talking. And then he's, he says to me, he's a decent man. I'm not going to fight him. He says to me, he says, Howard, I don't want you to say that we had an issue with you. I said, no, man. He's a decent man. I ain't going to say that. Howard, stop lying is what he says to me, right? I would stop lying. I said, but I'm not lying. I'm not going to lie to you, right? He says, he says, Howard, I just listen to your show every day, okay? You can come out here and you can say some people been decent, indecent, and you can start to call a name, but you ain't really call a name. And I say, well, what you call me for? If you know I can do this. You see, because why? I'm not tethered to nobody. Nobody. When we sit in this particular capacity, the one thing that I say before I come on this radio, Father, I pray that you stand in my body, that you think with my mind, that you speak with my tongue, that your divine will be done, that I capture the imaginations of those people and prepare them to move in the direction that you call them to move in. Not me, but your will be done there, Father. I thank you, I honor you, and glorify you for this opportunity. And I come behind the radio. Good afternoon. How y'all doing? Boom. Every day. I'm not naive to believe that I put myself here. I know a lot of people believe that they put themselves in their positions. I'm not naive. I'm not fool enough to believe that I had the insight, the wherewithal, the capacity, the capability of being able to craft and narrate my own future. I am not fool enough to believe, but I am fool enough to believe in a God that's bigger than me. I am. I am fool enough to say, not my will, their father, but your will be done. I am fool enough to believe strong enough to say, their father, wherever you lead, I will follow. I am. And you believe you can swing me to do as you desire? Man, come on, man. Y'all don't even know where y'all is. You don't even know how you get where you is. You're going through all sorts of turmoil in your spirit. You ain't settled. You have no focus, no vision, no, no direction. Because you ain't aligned properly. And you can call me to tell me. Anyway, let me be decent with you. Hit me up, guys, 323-622-3225-4316, 325-4259, anywhere from the family violence, 242-300-5720. Hit me up, 422-4796. That's on the telephone line, on the text line. Uh, I see a uh, call on the line already. Call on the line with this live. Go ahead. Howard, how you doing, man? Hey, what's up? What's up, Graham? You know, I do the same thing when I go on the show, when I host the show. I like that. In 2008, and when I call the show, I ask forgiveness and direction but every now and then the devil slips in <laughs> grab 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 i told you it was being decent you just you said every now and then the devil comes back <laughs> back to decency back to decency let's go let's go a momentary back to lapse of reason had a call today from a gentleman on a radio station in grand bomb i wouldn't call the name and he told me it's not looking good in grand Bahama. he says to quote him it's not looking good brev and i went whoa he says, a lot of noodles selling, and he don't like that. Noodles and weenie. I said, I have to rebuke that. There are people, and if I was in power, I would offer a $100,000 cash reward, U.S. money, for the best idea to fix the Bahamas, starting in Grand Bahama. Man, you would see some good suggestions come out of the woodwork then, eh? Mm -hmm. And I whoever know. came with the best, you know, if you came with the best suggestion, whatever it may be, I would then make you the czar of that project because it's your passion you see i can't teeth your passion try implement it because it failed freeport was a passion for some people they've moved on and now it's failing it's easy to fix freeport the biggest question when you come with every solution is where does the money come from and the person who asked that question needs to be removed post haste as the lawyer would say because most people 
can tell you that ideas make money. Absolutely. Because if money makes money, I put $100 on that table today, we come back at $500 tomorrow, right? It should be duplicated by itself, yes. Or it's gone. So it's the idea. People throw money behind an idea. They don't throw money behind... But that's creative people. That's creative people who understand. That's innovative people. That's people who yeah. are in a space where they've seen ideas work before and they're willing to take a chance. That's people who are not, they understand money and but they're I willing to West, invest. I, I've seen what West End was. Huh? The Capitol, remember? Yeah. Well, you, you and I are too young, but I've seen photos. So why can't we do no, it? But too this young. time for this. I was this, there. I was there. Oh, as a mm-hmm. little young boy in the 80s going down to West End and my grandfather showed me the Jack Tower Hotel. I was there with wow. the transition. I was there. My grandfather would show me the West End people. We were looking forward to go to West End. My granddaddy had a boat in Boodle Bay. I was there. So before um, my cell happens to magically do wonders, why can't we do that again? But this time for the citizens. We can. Not the port, not the government. I'm waiting to hear. You know what's going to be beautiful? I'm going to leave you on this. You know what's going to be beautiful this election cycle? I don't care if it's a cat. I want you to come on Guardian, and I want you to come on social media streaming on Guardian, and I want citizens to be able to call in and ask you the questions. Because if we don't hear the specific, detailed how, what, when, especially when, you're going to do X, Y, Z, it ain't going to work. Because people like, like you, the millennials... And the, the generation that comes after you, baby vipers, they not they <laughs> they're not going to take foolishness. And so, what you're going to trick um, the bo- baby boomer with, the older folks, you can't trick the millennial. I like this because they have that phone. So let's fix the Bahamas, Howard, and uh, enjoy the weekend, man. When the sun clear up now, let's go to the beach and get a two piece and something to drink. <laughs> Thank you, my Graham. I do appreciate you, man. Thank you, telephone call. Uh, I like what Graham says. Um, I want to be able to have a further conversation. I can do this. Uh, next week on the 15th, uh, maybe the 16th, I want to be able to, to take a little time off, right? Um, for me, and I, you know, I got to get the kids prepared to be able to get back to school, so don't fight me, right? But uh, in preparation for that, I want to be able to leave you with a series, a five-day series about the independence, okay? I've already spoken to Kareem Hanchel. I've already spoken to Fred with McElpine. And uh, y'all give me some other independents who you'd like to be able to hear from. Some independents who have uh, presented themselves uh, kind of ready to be able to move in towards the future. I'd like to be able... No, I don't want to have no casual conversation with you. I don't want to sit here and tell you, you tell me what the PLP has done or haven't done, what the FNM has done and haven't done. That's not the conversation I want to have with you. I want to hear innovation. I want to hear ideas. I want to hear a commitment to community. I want to hear these particular concepts and ideas that you want to be able to craft and project. Uh, yeah, yeah, listen, I could tell you what I don't want here. I could tell you that. I'm not going to bring you on the radio and have a conversation about the same old, same old. Let's talk about something that elevates a higher thing. Let's, just, let's go higher. Let's go higher in our conversation, in our discourse, to be able to see some things happen in this country. I want to be able to do that. Guys, let me take this quick commercial break and be right back after this. Excuse me for me to interrupt, Sean. Boy, he come. And the way reminder to say, this coming Friday, I'm a police going to over the lawn. You went to see my number one town around town. I did so Friday evening. Bim! The people do Tired of banks forcing you to use technology to bank the way they want you to? Your convenience is important. So no matter what your banking needs, Commonwealth Bank's friendly staff are always available in branch for that personal one-on-one service. But when you choose technology, our online and mobile banking app offers you state-of-the-art functionality. The choice is yours. Commonwealth Bank. Bank the way you want. Bonneville Bones, established in 1970, is the leader in men's fashion in the Bahamas. We're conveniently located in the Mall at Marathon and the Harbor Bay Shopping Plaza, and fully stocked with everything you need for all occasions. Our Harbor Bay location is one door north of Alive, with the black and white signage of Bonneville Boutique. Both locations are open from 10 to 7 p.m., Monday through Saturday. Bonneville Bones and Bonneville Boutique... 
still the leader in men's fashion. Located in the mall at Marathon and the Harbor Bay Shopping Plaza. Now let me see now. 326 EPIC. Hello? Hello? This this epic? Echid battery? This Miss Bueller from around the corner. I hear you are selling tires now on Wolf Road 2. Praise the Lord. It's about time. I live Fox Hill and Fire Trail. It's too far. That ain't all. They open Monday to Friday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. On Sunday and holiday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. My brother Sam, he's a hacker. And he could go right there and get fixer. Call us at 326 Epic. We ship also to the family island. Excuse me for me to interrupt Sean. Boy, he come. And the way reminder to say, this coming Friday. And the police going to over the lawn. You went to see my number one town round town. I did so Friday evening. Boom! The people them tired of working. Fana, fana, Lord, them here did this complain. Boom! It made them feel like dancing. Ain't no summer set. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, 96.9 FM Radio. Howard Grant and your company, The Foundation, here live and in full effect on this beautiful Friday, being able to chop the thing down. The lines are wide open if you want to be able to participate. We're talking about these things. Next week, I'm going to leave you with a series, okay? Next week, I'm going to leave you with a series. Um, who do you want to hear from as independents? Please text me, let me know, right? Give me the whole name, the government name, okay? Uh, 422-4796, text me or call me. It's fine. Just let me know who you want to hear from. We're going to hear from Mac. Mac called me. He and I had a very good conversation um, when I came off the radio the other day. And, um, you know, you know, as, as I spoke with him, I said, Mac, I'd like to be able to have a, a further conversation with you. He said, well, I ain't Grandma Hammer. I ain't Grandma Hammer now. I said, okay, no problem. Um, <laughs> so, so uh, um, over over Zoom or something for you and uh, prepare it. And so you'll be able to hear that. I'd like to hear from him, right? House and Mutri, are you available? Would you like to have a conversation with us? I know that uh, as a meteorologist, you have been able to see a great th things coming into the future. And so I'd like to hear the forecast as to how you see it. Um, I'd like to have a conversation about uh, where we are from an economic standpoint. I think everyone uh, is playing cute. Can I say it like that? I don't mean plain cute. I mean, they are professionally astute. They align themselves with what is viewed as professional decorum and how you can align yourself and be able to say some things accordingly and try to be decent in that particular step. You understand? And so they do their best to be able to give you that kind of a... But, but you know, off the record, there is a great deal of disappointment with a lot of things that's happening out here. They ain't going to say that on the record, Right? Uh, but off the record, they're saying a lot of things. So I'd like to find someone uh, who wants to have good conversation from an economic standpoint, uh, from a social standpoint, from a community standpoint. Uh, I'm looking for someone to be able to have a good conversation from the church. My good friend Devin is, um, he is, I'm going to ask him to sit in for me uh, on the 22nd, 23rd, something like that. So we can be able to do that. And I should be back by the 30th, 31st, so we can be able to do those things. So uh, give me a text. Like I said, let me know who you want to hear from, who the conversations that you believe that they have something to offer. May not necessarily be an independent, maybe independent thinking, uh, has an understanding of how to detach yourself from a governmental standpoint, and uh, seeks to kind of dive into a conversation about how we can do this on our own by being able to pool our resources our strength, our tenacity, our focus, and commit ourselves to growth and development from a national standpoint. There isn't a lot of this happening. You know, I love how Graham continues to be able to kind of, you know, call in and have a conversation about the possibility of being able to fix some things. And I don't know whether or not his focus uh, or the conversation about Grand Bahama is because he knows I'm from Grand Bahama. Um, but there is a lot of things that can be done. There is. There's a lot of things that can be done. There's a commitment that needs to be made. There's a focus that needs to happen. And there is an understanding without me getting mad, uh, prophetic with you, and uh, this kind of a biblical, uh, you know, foretelling, right, of uh, mammoth proportions. I don't want to kind of do that for you. But I want to say to you that there is a shift that's coming. I don't, it don't matter how you feel about this. I don't matter how you pray about this. There's a shift that's coming. It's the inevitability of life. The cyclical nature, the cycle that is life. The circle of life. That is life. That is life. 
just like how your cells change, strengthen, just how these things happen, just how there is a, 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 a circulatory system in your body. There is a circulatory system in life. Many of us ignore that because why? We're in our own kind of a bubble. But there is a shift that's happening. There will be a shift of power that's happening in, this, in the world. There will be a shift of power that's happening in the world. There will be a shift of laws and regulations that govern. There's kind of an idea of democracy that you continue to be able to tout and enjoy and lift up. This kind of an idea of democracy, this banner of this facade and concept and idea that democracy exists will be smashed to smithereens. It will be eradicated entirely. The liberties and freedoms that you continue to be able to tout and say that we enjoy these things and no man can take this from us, it will be stripped from you. It will be stripped from us. From one thing or another, whether it's from a political standpoint or whether it's an act of God, whether it's from a natural thing, things are, th are shifting. And the only thing you're concerned about is whether or not you can get this promotion by next year. You are wilding out. You have three can of tuna in your house and one corned beef from 2016. That's what you got. Yeah. Remember what you've done. Yeah, we don't bother with those things. We had these eat home and you never really hear. Boom, boom. That's what you're doing. You're not prepared for anything to come. Anything. Now, I can't fight you and blame you for that. Because why? We ain't making that kind of money. We don't have that less, let's stack these things up in the bank of money. But we got to have some level of wisdom to understand that we cannot go through what we went through with the pandemic no more unless you won't be eating eggplant. What the woman sent me? She sent me a plate with eggplant in it. It had eggplant and an egg. Something I can't remember. <coughs> That's me, sorry. Unless you want to be living like that, you got to get yourself prepared. Lines are open 323-623-2325-4316-325-4259. Anywhere for the family violence, 242-300-5720. Hit me up, 422-4796. That was a colleague on. All right, make sure you keep me up, guys. Uh, as a colleague come back. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, Carly, you on the line with us live. Hey, how are you? Hey, what's up, Anton? Hey, hey Greg, how are you doing, brother? I'm good, man. I'm good. Excellent. I uh, really, really like the, <laughs> that, that hard opening that you started with, Alvin. <laughs> I try to be decent, so, Anton. Clearly, hey, can you hear me, Alvin? Yeah. Clearly, clearly, you got some things on your mind, brother. It's, uh, but, you know, you can't say everything out in the open. The old people say you got to give some and keep some. Right, 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 right. But, you know, you are edifying the audience. And so you got to you gotta give more. You can't just. <laughs> like, yeah, um, um, I heard that that um, um, conversation between you and Graham before you went on break. Mm -hmm. And uh, let me just highlight one or two points before I make my point, please. Uh, that you all discussed that I, I, I think it's important to highlight points that me and you discuss regularly on the show, but nonetheless. Um, you know, it's one thing to be sitting in the seat, Howard. It's another thing to have the vision. Mm. Right? God gives the vision. God gives the vision, not man. Man don't give no vision. Man don't have the ability to give no vision. Man, if there's nothing new under the sun, but God gives vision. And he doesn't give it to everyone. He's very selective with who he trusts with vision. Mm. And one of the things I observe, Howard, and, and I say that because y'all spoke about vision relating to Grand Bahama, right? Mm -hmm. Right, Howard? Yeah. And, and the development of the Port Authority, et cetera, et cetera, and the people passing on. But I'm highlighting vision as it relates to where we are and where we need to go, Howard. We have some people who are sitting, and I, I continue to point out this, Howard, some people who are sitting in some, some seats of influence in the government, but they lack vision. They lack vision. 
I I heard I heard something very interesting from PM on his return to country when he was interviewed by the media that tickled me inside, right? Howard, you can hear me, Howard? Yeah, radio. Go ahead. PM PM said he's back to get the job done. Right? Howard, I said to you on your show a couple of weeks, maybe three, four weeks ago or so, that it is one of the biggest teams of the administration I support, the PLP, is the fact that PM Davis can't stay focused on height and entrust those on low beneath him to carry the vision through, as was discussed, as was planned, as is expected. The biggest shame is that he has to shift the focus from being on height to come down on low in order to get things done on both platforms. You understand what I'm saying, Alex? But why should why is that though? It's because the people who are sit or some of the people, not all of the people, but some of the people who are sitting in key positions, Alex, are failing him. They're not executing on the vision successfully and in a timely manner. And Tom, we got to cut this. We got to chop this apart. We got to chop agree. this apart. But no, no, this is this. You can't say it like this. As to incorporate in a general concept that you want to talk about something else, this too, this too heavy unto itself. <laughs> I agree. This it's too very heavy. heavy and very, okay. very multidimensional. So, so, so the other day I said that he, uh, the only person that allowed that I've seen over the course mm. of history, right, over the mm. course of all the pres- the prime ministers that we've had, from Lyndon right. Pinlin to Hubert Ingram, Perry yeah. Christie, right. uh, Hubert Minnis, and right. now Brave Davis, the only yeah. person who I would have noticed that mm. they had significant autonomy in their mm. capacity as mm. members of parliament and ministers of the government, whatever their capacity, mm. was under mm. Perry Gladstone Christie. That's what I said. Yes. That's yes. what I said. Yes. Now, yes. that ain't got nothing to do with whether or not Perry was laid back and he ain't never bothered with nobody or whether right. or not he, he deliberately said, go there and get the job done. That It yes. doesn't matter. We saw the autonomy represented yes. in those particular spaces. Okay. Yes, I agree with you. I okay, agree with okay. You. so we watch, we watch under Perry Gladstone Christie, mm-hmm. OB transform uh, tourism. We watch mm-hmm. that. Okay? Yes. Now, Hubert yes. Ingram tried to be able to kind of craft this. He went off, he looked for Vince Vanderpool Wallace. He said right. Vince Vanderpool Wallace could do all these things. And right. he put Vince Vanderpool Wallace in and whop, 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 nothing. Yep, yep, whop, 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 whop. Right? It was, it right. was, it was nothing. Okay? Right. And that wasn't because of Vince Vanderpool Wallace. It was because of Hubert Ingram. And we know that. Well, we know, we understand the kind of leaders we, we are talking about and dealing with. Right. The closest wow. that he got to autonomy was the closest persons to Hubert Ingram when Nico Grant got into tourism. Nico right. Grant shifted the entire thing, put the thing on its head, and everybody right. was like, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> oh, what do you mean we can get it better again? Is something wrong? So we watch it. Now, watch it. I'm getting, I'm getting somewhere with this. Now, I'm, getting I somewhere. That one. I'm looking at what you're saying, and right. you say that the prime minister now, have to come down from where he mm. is perverted and doing big business for the country. He has to right. come down here and do these quote unquote menial tasks people to execute and they can't do it. The question right. is why? Why? People are people people are sitting in key positions that they are failing to execute on, Howard. So you said to me, hold on. I don't wanna I don't want to make it personal. And or I, do I, can, I agree I can, with you. I agree I with you. I can say some things. I Anton, some I'm things. watching you and I agree with you. Right. Every time there is a faux pas, a slip up, a misstep right. in the media, the prime right. minister steps in right. and he got to fix that every single right. time. Right. If, and, if, and, we, you know, if we see somebody at the office of the prime minister said something contrary, if we see right. a press secretary, if we see right, whatever right. we see, the prime right. minister got to step in and say, I can. And I'm not. I'm not when I when I with, with this conversation, Howard. I'm not speaking from the position to cast shadow, and 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 th- this part of the conversation doesn't include the um, um, press secretary or the communications division of of the prime minister's office, right? Because I believe that I believe that Rami has been doing a good job in that in that in that light, right? In any organization, you're gonna have some things that are said. Or some slips that that will occur, yeah, right? But I did see this ain't to to to, to cast blame or uh-huh. put a spe- specific light on any of these people. I'm right. saying to you exactly. whether it was 
uh, in the Ministry of Immigration, in the Ministry right. of Housing, in the Ministry of Energy, right. uh, wherever it was, yes. as the chief of police, yes. been able yes. to say a particular prime minister had yes. standing and say, we can do this particular thing. Yeah, now, I the would. question I got this is why? Why the prime minister got to do these people's job and nobody getting fired? See, oh, I would. <laughs> why people ain't getting fired? I work here at Guardian. If I say two wrong things, you ain't gonna hear me. You hear two couple yeah. rerun. <laughs> and then bang a line. I go on. I would. I would. One thing, one man, right? Let me, let me say this to you on this Joe and Graham touch on, and then I went in on one point that I want to make, please. Um, um, as it relates to that same aspect of patient, why does medicine being brought down, right? To, to my mind and to my knowledge of PM, um, um, Howard, he's a man of wisdom. He's very strategic. But that could also have its downfalls, Howard, because time waits on no man, right? And while the sledgehammer may be slow to come down because you want to measure twice and nail once, in the meantime, the people are suffering. The people are feeling the pain. The people are going through the motion. And you can't reverse that, which, 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 which in many cases has occurred already over the last three years. They, these, these end results are irreversible. In many instances, Howard, because people are varying positions, whether it be age, whether it be opportunity, whether it be finances, whether it be um, um, knowledge, people are at varying disadvantages on the scale, Howard, and they are being impacted in many ways that are irreversible once the impact sets in. And so I, I say that to say, Howard, the sledgehammer, in my view, it needs to come down much more swiftly. Because some of these people, they are belligerent, belligerent, Howard. And they are costing and causing the prime minister and the blueprint because they are incapable of executing the job. The proof is in the pudding. I can tell you and this. So, pardon me, Howard? I can tell you this because I got to go to the break. So wrap up, I gotta, but I want to say something before you go. go uh, wrap up. Go ahead. You finish? No, I man, I I want to say one more thing on what you and Graham said, and I want to on my point. Can I call you back? Call me, call side? me back on the next side. Call me back. On All the right, next Howard. Side. Okay, okay. Call me the next side. Okay. Uh, I can tell you one thing. Jay Z came up with one of his first albums. I think his first album was the Blueprint. Oh man, that was setting up to him to be a classic. But his last album was Fade to Black. Fade to Black. Is this what the New Day administration is doing? Are they fading? Let's talk about this. Let's take this quick break and be right back after this. For all your printing needs, there ain't no one better, no. For posters and banners, magazines and flyers, for window decals, reading cards and newsletters. No job too big and there's no job too small. You name it, we can print it. Just give us a call. Let print masters bring your masterpiece to life. Located in the Nassau Guardian Building, telephone 3022361. With our new Independence King Combo, choose from our classic flame grill beef version or indulge in a crispy chicken breast topped with savory bacon, arugula, crisp onion rings, cheese, and our special tropical sauce. Both come with fries and a drink for a flavor sensation perfect for celebrating every year. Remember to top off your Independence King Combo with a delicious guava sundae or the new guava ice shaker. Available only at Burger King Nassau. The Grand Bahama News is available every Tuesday in the Nassau Guardian. You can buy your local paper at Freeport Convenience Stores, Western Bakery, DeGregory's Fine Foods, and Bellevue Gifts. Now is the time to reach your Grand Bahama market with affordable packages, including print and digital. Call GB News Sales Representative Kavandre at 822-6717 or message him on WhatsApp for ad rates. Classified ads are now available every Tuesday as well. Keep up with everything Grand Bahamian every Tuesday in the Nassau Guardian. This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. Excuse me for me to interrupt, Sean. Were you get reminded to say, 
this coming Friday, and a police gonna roll the lawn. You went to the man and number one town round town. I did so Friday evening. Boom! The people them tired of working. Fana fana, Lord, them here did this complaint. Boom! It made them feel like dancing. Ain't no summer set. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. A couple of minutes before we get out of here, just being able to talk about these things. Somebody texts me and says, Howard, uh, Jay Z's first album was Reasonable Doubt. Um, I think uh, the PLP is also giving us a reasonable doubt uh, of why we should have not voted for them in the first. I just won't be decent. As, you, as I just try to be decent, my God. Let me try, right? Uh, this, this is a significant attempt. I don't know whether or not uh, we can get any any scores for effort, but I'm doing my best to try to be decent. Now, the PLP may not necessarily like this, and I think that the older politicians have a very clear understanding of my responsibility in my particular position and why I have to speak the way that I speak. I don't have no allegiance to no one. I just won't be decent as I talk about these things. And like I said, if you are a wise enough politician and I saw fit or anyone in the media space see fit to, to kind of dissect what you're doing. It ain't because they don't care. But you know, so much, some MPs I never call yet. Can I say this? Can, can we say this? Some MPs I never call your name yet. This is for various reasons. You ever play one shot, kill the crow? You ever play that? You ever play that in basketball? You ever play that? You would go around the, the world one shot. That's two, that's two different games. You go around the world, you start under the rim, you go back, you take a shot, boom, boom, boom. Whoever hitting, that's, that's one. Okay, that's one. But one shot killed the crow. Whoever hit the first shot, the other one is out. There are a lot of members of parliament who will be the proverbial crow. Members, I'm telling you, man, I ain't, and I ain't really got no time to be talking but you. I ain't got the time. You come here, you just want to put a big picture in your mother house to say, look, my God, look at the baby Jesus. I remember when the baby was small. Oh, God. He used to be right here dancing for us. And I look at him, he's the MP. God is so good, eh, baby? My God. And did nothing. Useless. Why have been called your name for? Let your mother be proud of you. Quietly, she know deep within her heart that she'll never utter out of her mouth, my God, he should never get this job. He couldn't keep the job he had. I just want to be decent. I don't want to tell you what your mother's thinking, but this is what is happening. Every time someone asks you about, well, why didn't you? Well, you know I in the position and the whip was on that day. I couldn't do these things because of, oh, 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 okay, okay. You see what they did to Travis, my friend? You see what being in Grand Town did to him? He stood up strong for the people as a young man. All them people at being Town were so proud of him. They said, my God, my man, our MP is not, he's not voting for the taxes. Being in Grand Town. And then, bam, he turned cat gut. Grammy said, he turned over to it. He flip. And the people of being in Grand Town didn't look back at him. That was it. That was it. People want a champion. They want a champion. They want someone who understands the system, joins the system, and commits itself, uh, its allegiance to the people. That's what they want. They want a champion. Not a chump. Many of y'all lying and never called your name. Many of y'all. I know your constituency rhythm. I know the layout of your constituency changed from FNM to PLP for the past two decades. Why would it change now and you ain't do nothing? Talk to me. You want me to waste my time here sitting down gum busting about you and your inability to get anything? You ain't forged one relationship in your party to get nothing done. Think I can waste my time? But no, 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 no. Some people, if we care enough to dissect what you're doing, take into consideration and just, you know, pull over the gems. Some things you could leave. They, they may be stones. You don't want that. But pull the gems out of the conversation and understand that this is constructive criticism for you to grow.
But if you ain't want that, my God, you can lead a horse to water. But you can't make him drink it. I'm not going to fight you. It's a Friday, guys. Take your time. Warm and easy, Selector. Let me take this quick commercial break, get the news, and be right back after this. Britain will be great and with the disco operator. Five double eighteen and a six tweeter. Uh, this is the DJ Talk Sweeter. Uh, Seal on him to start up with the echo chamber. Watch your man. Play the play. I did my T Rock the game. I'm casting down a play. This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM, Nassau, Bahamas. This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. Excuse me for me to interrupt Sean. Boy, he come and look with reminder to say, this coming Friday, and a police gonna roll with a blonde. You went to see my number one town round town. I did so Friday evening. Boom! The people just died of working. Fana, fana, Lord, them here did this complain. Boom! It make them feel like dancing. Ain't no summer set. Great and we'll be great and we'll see this go operator. Five double eighteen and a six. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, 96.9 FM Radio. Howard Grant and your company, The Foundation, live and in full effect on this beautiful Friday. Friday, right? Uh, I know maybe ain't much of y'all out there. <laughs> maybe you're listening to me on your XM radio in the car. Uh, headed up to West Palm Beach, headed up to Atlanta, or wherever you guys are going. If you're on vacation, if you're out there in the Caribbean, if you're in a ship or whatever you're doing, I hope that you guys do it with safety, man, with a very clear and cautious idea. Sometimes we uh, we give off all restraints, right? We leave all restraints. We don't, everything that holds us together, that kind of an idea. I watched this thing the other day. Right? right? This ain't to scare you. This is just to say I watched this. Um, these two young people, they were going out to a party. <clears throat> and, you know, somebody celebrated a birthday. And they get wasted. I mean, wet. They were soaked and wet. They was drunk, all in mouth, hanging out. An accident happened in the car. Right? I don't think they were driving. But nonetheless, an accident occurred. And they couldn't help themselves. One died. And the other one recalls the story. And I think to myself, I think to myself, you know, this is the importance of being sober-minded. With sobriety, you could tell yourself to fight. With sobriety, and this kind of a conscious strength in you. So it ain't about having a drink, you know. It's about indulging so much that you become consumed in the thing, that you forget yourself. Sobriety gives you a fighting chance to be able to fight against something. But if you wet and you soak up, my God, you can't do that. So wherever you are, I'm just hoping that you do so and be responsible. That's what, that's what they're trying to be able to tell you. Be responsible. Know your limits. Know what you could take. Know what you can take. Being able to stand in your conviction, if this is not what you do, don't do it. Don't do it. I'd like to tell you all a story, but I don't know if this is appropriate for radio. It has to do with brownies. Can I say this? Can I tell you this story? This is a story. Oh, my God. You know, I was one of the persons who was assisting with the development of this kind of a cannabis, the medicinal cannabis, in the very, very, very early stages. I was working with uh, Terry, right? And uh, I was working with my cousin Elliot, and then I was working with Terry also. I was a part of the board and being able to assist them. I was the director of communications for this board, Bakari, right? And I was invited to a party. I care not to say who it was and whatever the case may be. I was invited to this party. And uh, naive me. I was naive, right? And uh, I didn't. I just didn't know. I just didn't know. And uh, one of my, uh, my weaknesses is sweets. Can I say it? You, you can figure this out. I love me a, oh my God, a little cookie and thing like this, little, oh, I love it, right? You see me try to be slim and try to be able to, to eat right. So you go to the store and you get these cookies with no sugar. Then you eat a pack of it. You say, you know what? It didn't make any sense. <laughs> I must eat the regular cookie. I eat the whole box. My God, this is too much, right? You're talking to yourself, but this is only after, right? So cookies is my thing. 
get to the party, there's brownies there, fresh brownies. I said, oh, these are nice. Oh, Jesus. Right? They're talking to myself now. Right? So I was informed. Now, Howard, this have a little something in it. So I said, you sure? Yeah. I said, okay, well, I don't, I don't want to bother with anything like that there. I take a little pinch of the thing, stand up, and I talking, and I talking, and I talking, and I talking, and ain't nothing happened. I say, man, this ain't got nothing. This ain't got nothing. Ha, 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 Listen to me. I tell you the truth. I tell you, God's honest truth. So I take a little bite, right? This was my 30, I think it was my 38th, 39th birthday, something like that. I can't remember, right? So I take a little bite, right? Little edge of the corner. Because I don't go crazy. I watched my my cousin going crazy from this before, right? He's get wet, right? So I say, hold on, I don't bother with this. Never bother with it, right? I was a cigar fella. So I bite the edge of the thing. I say, man, this ain't do nothing. I stand up here for almost 25 minutes. I feel nothing on this. This ain't nothing. So I take a little bite, bigger bite, right? I say, oh my God, this cookie's sweet. This is nice. This little brownie, this is nice, right? And I eat one brownie, the whole thing, the little, the little square. So the person says, how would you eat all of that? I say, yeah, man, this ain't do nothing to me. Now, me and Terry, Terry, I talk to your business. Me and Terry didn't eat the whole cookie. We stand up here together. We, we talking, me and them talking to each other, standing strong. So we eat a whole cookie. We didn't eat a whole brownie, right? So I said, man, we good, man. No way, but that Terry said, I don't feel nothing with this man, Howard, man. This ain't nothing, right? We talking, 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 right? So now I say, give me the next brownie, right? <laughs> Listen to me. Anyway, it's time to go home now. It's about 11.30 now. I was here for about uh, maybe an hour, hour and a half. Nothing happened. I walk out. I walked out of the party, just hearing everybody. It was a nice little area. It was out there in, um, it was out there in Coral Harbor. We was in Coral Harbor, right? First time I've ever done this, never done this before. It was in Coral Harbor. I hadn't had anything. They made some nice uh, Eitel soup also, right? I had some of that. I carried some of that home. I said, oh, this is nice. Let me eat some of this later, right? So I took a little cup of that. And while I was saying my, you know, goodbyes, I walk around the party, tell everybody, all right, guys, I can see you all later. I get home, I get home. A white waiting on me, I get home, right? As I was five feet away from this, the, the fence, because my car right outside the fence, I could see my car, right? Five feet away from the fence, I walked to it, and everything gone like, uh, you've now entered the twilight zone. <laughs> right? <laughs> I say, what, 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 what the hell is this? What's going on here? Right? I couldn't see nothing. Nothing. I said, what happened? Right? Right? So I look back. I try to figure out what's happening. Right? It take me 25 minutes to get from the fence to my car. Right? And then I sat in my car, and I, I said, whew. Now I'm at the point, I said, oh my God, I can't believe this. Now I sit in my car and I hold in the wheel and I say, I got to get home. Jesus, oh my God, what, is, what did I do? I try to drive home. I start the car. It take me 10 minutes after I start the car to know, okay, put it in drive. I said, oh Lord, oh God, oh God, Jesus. I live right there, you know. I live right around the corner. I don't live three and a half minutes away. I went home, I sure I was making 20, no, 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 I was making at least seven miles an hour. I was going so slow, but I felt like I was going fast because everything keep moving. And I said to myself, while I was in this state, mother sick, I don't even know if I live in or if I dead. I don't even, this felt like an out of body experience. I said, oh my God, what is this? I get home, my wife said, oh my God. I said, what happened? I said, ah, I write. And you know what I felt like? If you've ever watched The Wolf of Wall Street, you remember when Leonardo DiCaprio took the, the, the quaaludes? And he said, these ain't no good, right? <laughs> they, they outdated, so he ate so much quaaludes, right? And he imagined himself doing some things, but when you look back at the scene, how he was dragging and drooling and whatnot, it's exactly how I felt. I said, oh my God, I will never do this again. I will never do this again for two days. Two days. I was in this inebriated. I couldn't, I didn't understand it. All because of my desire to eat sweets. The devil is a liar. I just want, to, I got to tell you the story. Can we be honest with each other? 
Because uh, if I decide to run for politics, you need to hear the story. Well, how would eat brownies before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't tell you this story. You know, so behave yourself. Just behave yourself, right? Ate the brownie two days. I take it on a Friday. Sunday, I was out of it entirely. But can I say this to you? Can I say this to you? As a result of this, you think I would have gone to the, col the, the colonic thing as a result of this because it is medicinal. It actually heals your intestines. It heals your body. And so all of what you had inside of you, it came out. Two days. Two days. Now, this ain't me telling you uh, if you need a significant pass, go look for one brownie. I just want to be decent with you as I say this. I tell you that story to let you know that sobriety is important, that you can fight for your life, that you can strengthen yourself, that you can think with a conscious understanding to move away from danger if you are inebriated, if you're wrapped up and you're wet up and you're soaked up. Let's be decent as we talk about these things. Guys, we're still here. I'm being able to talk about all these things, right? <laughs> Nobody said, what do you say? Lord, what is this man talking about today on our good Christian Guardian radio? Y'all don't behave yourself, right? I'm telling you the truth, right? Say, <laughs> Pastor Richie. <laughs> no, I just got to tell you that. I already say that to say, when you're going on your vacation and things like that, just be sober. Just be sober. Don't put yourself in that kind of position where you don't know what you're doing, where you're going. You're going to California. You're going to Amsterdam. You're doing all these things. You may not make it back home if you put yourself in a position where you don't know if you're living or if you're dead. Be decent. We're here. We're live in the full effect. 323-6232, 325-4316, Anywhere for the Family of Islands, 242-300-5720. Hit me up, 422-4796. Call on the line with us live. Go ahead. Hey, Howard. Hey, what's up, Anton? You call back. Why are you me in stitches? <laughs> you laughing at my brownie girl. <laughs> I tell you, this is, it's the truth. I, I was 25 minutes to take me to get from here to right now. <laughs> I seriously, I know, and you know the indecent people, I know they could see me. And ain't nobody even come help me. <laughs> hey, thank you, Alan. Alan. Hey. Using that team analogy example that you that story that you just gave us which was a very sobering one you know we have some people who are walking around just like that and they don't even recognize that's crazy there are people that live right now that they don't know how to and function without that they're not on drugs that's crazy what you're doing they're on something else that's but they don't even recognize it always the, the, the walking dead is what we call them um, um, in conversation That's as heavy, a young man say. growing up. That's heavy. Bring that. And don't even know it. That's anyway, heavy. Howard, getting back to this conversation. Um, um, in, my, in my observation, Howard, and this is the second part of what you and Graham talk about, then I'll make my, my last point. Mm -hmm. uh, Graham was saying to you and you were saying to Graham that the young people, I mean, not the young people, people are woke, the humans are woke, Right? Therefore, you can't swing behemoths as the local uh, vernacular goes. You can't swing behemoths like how behemoths were more easily influenced back, back, back then with the comparison that John Graham was using, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I want to I wanna add a twist on that because that's a conversation that I've been having over the last several months, maybe six to eight months. Um, the young people, Howard, the young people, they're not like Grammy. Or mommy and daddy them. When I say mommy and daddy them, I mean like me and your generation, right? Mm -hmm. Um, um, uh, uh, them generation. We all in that same generation, right? Some years apart, and then you get Grammy them generation. The young people of today, Howard, mm -hmm. they ain't like us. They ain't afraid to tell you what they. Well, I'm not like that. I'm not like people who walk around bringing that either. I will tell you what I think, right? When I say us, I mean as a people. Mm -hmm. The young people will tell you what they think, my brother. Therefore, you can't swing them and think you could get away with it. They will pull the sword of David out on you mm -hmm. and slice you up. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Philosophically speaking. Can you hear me? Yeah, I'm right here with you. I'm right here. The older people in our set 
And in Grammy, I'm saying, Howard, what's happening in that category, in my observation, is this. There's been so much suffering, right? There's been so much empty promises, unfulfilled promises, so much swinging in the local vernacular, going on in the political realm, so much big talk going on in the political realm, very short on delivery, but great on excuses going on in the political realm, that mom and them and papa them, people in our age set, can't afford to take on any more lip service. So it ain't so much a matter of education because a lot of people are still ill-informed. But their personal lives, like you started to point to, when they go home and they look in their refrigerator, when they look in their cupboard, when they look in their children's eyes, when they look at opportunities on the horizon, that forces them to take on a different persona, Howard. You understand what I'm saying, yes, Howard? Yes, yes, yes. And, and, and therefore, Howard, tying it in with what you were saying in, in the earlier part of your conversation and through this entire show, the politicians have to realize that when people like me and you get on the airwaves to have intelligent, informed, constructive, mature conversations, progressive conversations, don't personalize what we are saying. Set yourself and your emotions aside. I like this, what you say. Bring your mature self to the table. Accept, analyze, and consider what is being said. Empathize with people. And then that may give you the drive necessary to go where you need to go in your position of influence, whether you are um, um, in, in the parliament or whether you are in key position, whether you are a senior advisor or whether you are a chairman or a director. It may give you the push you need to go into your office and make the necessary change to really break status quo. Listen, man, Howard. I just heard the Prime Minister talk about something with me and you discussed just maybe two weeks ago on the show where I was saying to you, we need a national urban development plan. Do you remember the conversation, Howard? Yeah, I remember we talked about this. The Prime Minister just said that in the news I like. Did you hear it? Now, now I want to say this to you, though. He just said it to the opening of something to do with the environment. You said, when you first called, you said that the Prime Minister said he's coming back. He's coming back to get the job done. He's coming back no. to get the busy. Or okay. It can't be no more talking from this point forward. I agree, Howard. Anton, Listen, the, the people, talking should have stopped. I don't care if the next generation. I don't the next generation. Who can't take nothing? I can tell you the truth. I can't take it either. I don't want to hear it. I tie it. Right. I want to see action. Right. I want people to get jobs. I don't want you yeah. to tell me, oh my God, we're doing this great thing for people's house. And all these houses around the place and 9.6 right. million people coming to the Bahamas and yeah. nobody got no money. Jesus Christ, how we can afford the house? How I can afford the house? What I can, what I can do? It what I got to sell to get the people going, in the house? It's not waking. This plan that we have been following is not waking. We can't, look man, Howard, you know, I'm so glad you're going. We can't take plans that are develop internationally and just superimpose them in our country. That's lazy. Right? That's the lazy approach, Howard. We got to build this thing from the bottom up, from the ground up. That, that's how you lift people. That's how you lift all people, Howard, when the tide rises. You can't do it from the top down because the top down only thinking but themselves, Howard. We got to change. Listen, this is the last point. This is my point that I wanted to interject, Howard. Um, um, we are missing key links in the PLP, which were present and critical to our reformation, our restructuring, to opposition. Anton, somebody and text me and politics. say, Howard, Anton half stepping because he won't keep his bread butter. So I don't know what they mean. You ain't calling names or you ain't giving no specificity to these particular things, but they want Listen clarity. Up. Howard, Howard, Howard. I, I just said you would people text me. You know what? You know what? I normally hear those comments after I hang up, right? Let me just stop and take 30 seconds, Howard, to, to say one thing. If those, I, I, I'd like to call them something so bad, Howard, but it would be inappropriate. If foolish-minded individuals think that nothing about me, I don't kiss no man but or no woman but. I speak my mind. 
I don't believe in following the crowd. Never have, never will. I believe in doing the best that I can to help to put the system in place. Once the system is in place, I can rise all the boats with the tide out. You now, don't need nobody to look after you. Watch you me. don't need nobody to take care of you. You don't got to go to nobody's doorstep. No. Because the system would be in place that would take care of anyone who wants to take care of themselves. Now, hold on, Anton. That's Before we go, I got to give, you, give, me, give you the last part of what they say. They said mm. he will do well to listen to John Maxwell. This is when the bus is going the wrong way, you have to check the driver. You have to check the driver, which is leadership and the head who is steering us in a particular direction. No Listen matter what going on. Listen, Howard. Howard, can you hear me, Howard? I right here. Listen, you. God Almighty, my brother, God Almighty had to destroy an entire city because the people failed to follow. Are you going to blame God for them not... Not, not following, God gave them the provision. God gave them the laws. They chose not to follow. You can't always blame the leader. You got to be able to follow the leader's heart and examine what is happening beneath and around the leader. It's ultimately, Howard. Yeah, I appreciate you. The responsibility call, ultimately falls to the leader, but it's not always the leader. The leader has to make the final decision, but it's not always the leader, Howard. However, in this case, Prime Minister Davis has the opportunity to put down the gauntlet, gauntlet to put down the sledgehammer and to make some hard decisions like that this. are necessary to be made before we get closer. And, and I'll, I'll end on this one. You continue to say that um, uh, Brother Smith in Grand Bahama was the person who formulated the um, uh, PLP's um, um, leadership leadership um, 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 uh, uh, classes. It wasn't him, Howard. It was me. Who, Brother Smith? Brother Smith over there who won the seat in Grand Bahama. Who, Kingsley? Grand Bahama. You continue to say that, but it wasn't in my brother. He met he met the vision for that in place, in the PLP. Ooh. That came out of my belly, my brother. My belly. Wait, I wasn't wait, a part of wait. the execution. We got to talk a little bit more about this. I but like the vision this. came from my belly. I like what you Thanks say. Thanks for the opportunity. God bless. Thank you, my brother. Continue to do the great fights. And go and relax as rich people do, Howard, next mm. week. <laughs> and don't eat no brownie. Praise God. <laughs> see you later. See you later. Yeah. Um, uh, listen, man. Uh, let's have a good conversation. Let me take one more call and then go to a break. Call on the line. Go ahead. Call on the line. Go ahead. Call on the line. Go ahead. Hello. Hi. Howard. Hey, this is Howard. Hey, good day to you, man. Good you, man. And I was just listening to the, uh, the gentleman talk in, in reference to leadership mm -hmm. and not blaming the leader. Mm -hmm. But in any way in life, in terms of leadership, mm -hmm. as you said, the leader mm -hmm. is responsible. You understand me? The leader is always responsible, Anton. It so rises and falls this, this, on leadership. Yeah, it's all about leadership, brother. And if, and if, and if our prime minister can't put on the good shoe, then take it off and go home. My God. Go home. Let all of them who can put on the shoe go home now. It's time to move. Let somebody else lead. And thanks for taking my call. Thank you, man. I appreciate you calling me, man. Thank you so very kindly. It's a first time telephone call. So we really do appreciate that. This is Aunt, uh, this is LOL. He said the same thing when Mr. Christie was screwing up. He is only, he is only half stepping. Period. This is a text that's coming through Anton about your uh, your position. I'm not quite sure. I'm just going to read the text. I'm just being able to talk like this. Guys, let's take a quick commercial break and be right back after this. It's a week um, and the week reminded to say this coming Friday and the police going to roll the lawn. You went to the man number one town round town and it's a Friday evening. <laughs> Do you have uncontrollable debt? Are you ready to make that move to Fidelity for a stress-free future? These loans have a built-in savings plan that pays you unbeatable interest. Ask about our debt consolidation loans today. Call 356-7764. Fidelity, we're good for you. It's time to upgrade the way you enjoy at-home entertainment. 
Alive Fiber is here. Enjoy all your favorite channels and streaming apps, all at lightning fast internet speeds with affordable bundles. And it's only a click away. Visit www.alivefiber.com to sign up now. Stay connected, live your life. It's good to be alive. Let me see now. 326 EPIC. Hello? Hello? This this epic e- Ekid battery? This Miss Bueller from around the corner. I hear you are selling tires now on Wolf Road 2. Praise the Lord. It's about time. I live Fox Hill and Fire Trail. It's too far. That ain't all. They open Monday to Friday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. On Sunday and holiday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. My brother Sam, he's a hacker. And he could go right there and get fixed up. Call us at 326 Epic. We ship also to the family island. This is Guardian Radio, 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. Excuse me for me to interrupt Sean. Boy, he come. And the way reminded to say, this coming Friday, and the police going to over the lawn. You went to the man number one town round town. I did so Friday evening. Boom! The people do. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, at the Foundation 96.9 FM Radio, the 19th to the 23rd next week. We're going to have a dedication uh, to having you remember if I call you and I call your name. I wrote some people down here and um, um, I'm going to be calling them out, right? So I can call your name on radio. And if you know these people, call them, say, how I call your name, see if you can go there. I can call your name on radio. We can pre-record your show, and then we can drop this the entire week next week. Save Thursday, because Thursday still is going to be Small Business Thursday. I think I have a couple of people pre-recorded to be able to do that, right? So uh, let's do that. So I wanted to be able to have a conversation with Graham. I want to have a conversation with Lincoln. I want to have a, sati- a conversation with Kareem, with Halson, with uh, Mark Pine, and with Tanil Tada, right? to be able to talk about these things, right? Uh, I don't know if uh, uh, Ali McIntosh is still do this. I don't know if she's still in this kind of a space, right? I know she entered, uh, I text her one time, she says, I'm in the church now, right? So I'm not going to fight her. So I don't know whether or not she's still in this kind of a position, but I'll call and see if, it, if, if we can be able to get those conversations. Maybe I double them up and see if we can have a contrasting conversation on air and being able to do that like that. So I'm looking forward to that. And uh, we can be able to chop it down like that and make it happen. Okay, um, guys, we're still here. Make sure you give me a call three two three six two three two three two five four three one six three two five four two five nine. Anywhere from the family of islands two four two three hundred five seven two zero or hit me up four two two four seven nine six. This is Lord. Okay, so man, how would you got me dying with laughter? Right? He says, ask him if he got his check. This is a prison, Anton. They want me to ask you, Anton, did you get your check? I asked him, okay? I said, <laughs> you want Anton to call this radio all day? And say, Howard, 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 you all need to stop, right? This is a, this is a text is coming through. They want me to know, Anton, did you get your check? You all keep, don't fight, Anton. This is Howard. Uh, we won't be getting any blessings with the Moses crew at the wheel. All are cursed from God. For doing to God's people. This is a text that's coming through. This is excellent show, Howard. Uh, let's read it. Excellent talk show, Howard. I love Grand Views and the set of vision for Grand Bahama and my Haywood and my Haywood would make a difference for economic growth and new Grand Bahama. Anton need to choose his side, people or country. Put on the shoe or go home. Uh, this is from the mayor of Grand Bahama. That's Rudy. Rudy, what's happening, my brother? Hope all is well with you and your family. It says, uh, in the 1 p.m. news, Anton referenced Brave Davis said that we have to stop uh, indiscriminate cleaning of land. You mean nobody in cabinet had any idea that somebody was cutting roads through Anatol Island? Um, I'm sorry, not Anatol. Athol, is that how you pronounce it? Athol Island? And destroying the 200 square acres of mangroves out in Adelaide? Of course they knew. It wasn't mums the word? Talk to me. Wasn't it a tight lip situation? Isn't it like a relentless repeat of the same thing? I can't say nothing, you know. You want me to lose my job? Isn't it the same thing? 
I said, professional at getting fired. Because I can say something. And I know I can be okay. Because we get to be able to stand up for righteousness. And if you stand up for righteousness and your heart properly aligned, my God, God can take care of you. I can't get away, man. Jesus. That's why you got to learn to be able to stand up for righteousness and stop being soft. You're scared. What you here for if you're scared? What you here for if you're scared? I learned not to be scared in Ape Rock High School. Fellas used to try to intimidate you with their finger in your face. You remember that? You remember you going to government school? The fellas intimidate you with the finger in your face and trying to poke you on your forehead and all these things. If you touch me again, it's going to be over. And you can't, see, the school I come from, you can't make a threat without fulfilling. Talk to me, I just want to be very clear. This is this, this, this how I grow. You can't make a threat without fulfillment. You can't, I about to. No, 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 no. That's what you all prophets do these days. My God. God is getting ready to, ah, ah. God is getting ready. He never seen nothing. It's then five years, then God is getting ready to. God, soon, and very soon, if you bring $200, you need to stop. Y'all need to stop. I'm tired. You need to stop. Just leave me alone. When God getting ready to, he will know where I am. I don't need for you to tell me that. You can't make no threats and don't stand by your word. And that's the truth. These people utter these things and don't have the conviction to stand in their position. You're representing the people. And only person that put you back there is the people. But you obviously don't want a job. So let's just be decent, all right? So this is what he says here. Uh, he says, um, much sun oil will be fined for the Exuma oil spill. He also said electricity, electricity bills are down. But usage is up based on what? Gut feeling? Uh, he don't think that people use the air condition last year when it was hot too? I can tell you one thing. Me and my children just had big row. I got an air condition out in the front room. I got an air condition in my room and one in their room, right? And we in the front room watching TV. So the AZ on. What they what did what my children in their room for? Get out your room. Big Rob. I feel like Leslie Miller when I get out your room. If you want to be in there, you can sweat. <laughs> ah! Yeah. No, 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 no. We ain't have all these things on. So I don't know what what usage up, not in your and not in my house. Hmm? I didn't make three rounds around here. I gotta go walk around with a cane in my house and a stripe in my pants. Because yeah, it's the police today. Cut everything off. But daddy, I can't see. You don't need to see. Use your hands. And your antennas. Figure that out. Figure it out. So I don't know what used to jump. It ain't up in my house. Because I ain't pay. How you could pay a, a, a mortgage and your electricity bill is a mortgage? Jesus, how do people going to live, God? How? How? How are we going to survive? How? You got to pay rent, and rent in Nassau is bananas. Just want to be honest with you, with your old 1954 tiles in your house, grout, and, and you got uh, all kind of things there in the corner there. Uh, rent is astronomical. You go and clean out your garage and put up some sheetrock and renting that to people for $2,000 a month. Yeah, they can pay that. If they want to live, they'll pay it. Rent is astronomical in Nassau. How people can survive. But y'all can vote them in again. So I, you know, we ain't got nothing to say. Call on the line. Go ahead. Hi, Howard. Hey, my dear. What's happening? Now, how would that last tip and you make you and the devil a liar? They can vote him in again. It's Howard? I just get a call the other day to say the PLP can win again, Howard. Howard, why you give some of us Howard? I tell me. And I say the PLP will win again. Yes, Howard, the PLP can win again. And then hmm. I get a list of how they can win. Uh, Howard, they've done this. No one has done this. Howard, they've done this. No one has done this. No administration has done this. The PLP can win. I, I just, I, you know, but I didn't Howard, have the they're, they're correct. No one has done this. Is correct. Now, what is the death? That's another story. No one has fly as much. 
no one has, um, I guess, hired as much. No one has um, spoken less as much. It, 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 and the list goes on, so they are correct. Anyway, how it? I tell you what they call say. <laughs> That's what the people call me and tell me. You know, Howard, in your house, like you say, your your luxury stays, stays at a, a certain amount because you try to maintain what you have. And who is the leader in there? Me. Good. And my so wife. If, if something go wrong, if your wife is to allow the children to do what they want when you're not around, um, who is going to be called on? My God. Uh, my God. If there's good going on, the children are getting good grades, everybody is smiling, who is the one that is proudest? Mm-hmm. Daddy. The leader. Mm-hmm. So if, the, if all goes well for us, the leader is all smiles. But when it's going not as well, um, well, we can't hold the leader responsible. How is that possible? You can't have it both ways. No. Leader held responsible. He's, he's In like good survival, times... Like say, um, governments like to take the praises when all is well, but don't like to take the the, 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 the bad that come with you. No, you have to take both the bad and the good. Accept mm-hmm. it. Own mm-hmm. it. It's yours. Because mm-hmm. when it's well, you show up to cut ribbon. Oh, yes. You, the shovel in your hand... Need somebody to push it down the ground with you because the friend has just much gold more. Gold shovel. Hey, 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 spray that, hey. Spray that gold. That's Tell what we you, need. Gold shovel, gold that. scissors that is the size of a house. <laughs> you you yes. there to show your talent. Okay, so now when it's not going well, why don't you be there to show your talent? Yeah, but you know, what, what Anton said a little earlier is the truth. The prime minister, and, and it seems as though that there, there is a disconnect. Right? Or whether or not it he seems, has a savior hold complex. On. Sorry, Mr. Howard. You said it seems as though there's a disconnect. Yeah, okay, let me tell you, you why mean I say when, that. When John come out and say A, and the leader come out and say B and C. But I, I feel like it's not he, a, exactly Z. And watch and me. Then that has to be strategic. Say, that, that cannot be, it cannot be, it has to be by design. It cannot be what is the natural course of how things happen. It has to be strategic and by design. Let's test this in the public. If the public say yes, I'm behind it. If the savior to be able to fix it. So is the leader one going to win the next election, or he needs? See, but that's see. That watch me now. Watch me. The leader is going to win Cat Island. He's going to win okay. a seat. He can win a seat. The so members of parliament and the uh, ministers take no consideration that. Uh, you know who go win? That's just, I can call some names who go win right now. Chester go win his seat in Exuma. I don't care how y'all feel about it. Don't fight no, me. I Chester believe he will too. Chester go win his seat in Exuma. He's pushing himself forward for Exuma, so I believe he will Chester go win his seat in Exuma. Okay? He win his seat in Exuma. Uh, the leader go win his seat in Cat Island. Uh-huh. Angleston go win her seat. You see what they call it? He's the traditional names. If mm-hmm. Fred decide to put some money on the ground and get back in there, put one next pool in Fox Hill or whatever he got to do, he going to win his seat again. <laughs> you understand? Mm-hmm. F- Fred going to win it. These are four names I call. These people, sure. These other members of parliament and these ministers who are out here don't take no consideration for the fact that these people straight, they already get pension. They already on MP. My God, you can't even get a pension. Man, how would you got to give them more than four seats, man? No, I give you four seats. These are the sure seats that we know right now for the PLP, right? If I start to decipher and identify these things, then you can say, oh, how are you trying to be able to call the election? No, no, no. I just try to let you know that you're looking at the prime minister, the prime minister so, straight. Uh, Howard, how much seats they have now? Uh, 32 eight. Okay, so you you have, within, within from what you have been seeing so far, your, 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 the census. I know about 12 of them already gone. So 12, don't you think 12 of them seats so gone. You'd have been able to call money. 12 to 15 of those 32 seats are gone, and the PLP knows it. Now, if you want me to call those names, they can cost no, you no, money. No, no, we, we, Cash we out. Know those names. <laughs> I'm, looking for one, I'm looking for one or two of those names you called to be down to. No, 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 remember no. now, remember now, we had some, some good FNM MPs. Who, who lost their seat in person tell them so sorry it ain't you it's them and he won his seat that's heavy you understand me so the leader have to be the one persons lost their seat under minutes 
not because they were bad MPs, you know. That's heavy. Those who were exceptional win their seat. But those who were just, you know, I guess, doing, I guess, so much and not going beyond and above, above and beyond, they lost their seat. Those who are going above and beyond, they hold theirs. And these, the, these, the, the, the leader. These people so are looking for safe seat the now. The leader never just caused like you this. to lose a win. That's like looking you for... You know how we vote in the Bahamas. We vote because of the leader. If you don't like him, I'm so sorry, sir. You gone. Because I, I feel like my one vote is going to get one more seat and win. These fellas don't understand that the prime minister is going to be either the member of parliament and still the leader of the organization after it's all said and done. He could regroup and continue to be able to move forward. You will go off into the political abyss and we will never hear from you again. You are the sea of forgetfulness. Then Amen. we see you. We say, my God, I, I know your face from somewhere. Hey. Yeah, Jesus. we go back right on the, on the rock fishing. Where, where I know you from? Oh, oh, that's what I can tell you. Yes, you used to be an MP. All right, see you yeah. later. We don't want a conversation with you no more either. Exactly. So the leader has to sit down and like how Anton said, the, 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 the thing that he came up with, um, he needs to get royalties for. You understand me? How to show them to be, how to, how to Anton, be. Anton, you need to be a MP. consultant. Tell them, bring the check. Every one of them need to be giving him royalties because they not if if that lesson was taught, I don't know who learned it. My God, because you don't hear no name besides um, acting prime minister Chester Cooper. My God, prime that's it. Prime minister. My acting God, prime minister. That's all you hear. And now and again, you hear Ms. Hannah Martin when she and she. I like how she talks. She has something to say. She come out and she say it. And then Fred Mitchell on the other hand with these um, speeches. I like it. I appreciate your telephone call, my dear. Thank okay. you so much I'll, for your contribution. Yeah, man. Good to talk to you. Uh, I won't be decent. Somebody said, Fred, no, personally, he is not a sure seat. Believe that. There's a text is coming through. They said, Howard, Fred is not a sure seat. Well, let's just fix this, right? Um, is Fort Charlotte a sure seat? Let's just talk about this. You want to talk about it? Is Fort Charlotte a strong seat? We know that he's a strong individual in this particular capacity, but is Fort Charlotte a strong seat? Let's talk about it. Is, uh, who, where else we can be able to look? Where else we can look? Uh, is Pine Ridge a shore seat? That's Ginger Moxie. Is Pine Wood a shore seat? It seems like we had to talk about these things. Because I could start to tell you we could deduce this. I could see 15 seats from the PLP gone already. Gone. G-O-N-E. Gone. I think that this is going to be a tight, tight, tight election and I don't know who to put over the top as we look at this right now I don't know who we can put over the top but for the first time in a very long time we'll be able to have a strong opposition that's if the FNM give you suitable worthy candidates of your vote and a passion for constituency Quick break, be right back after this. Get hot in Marcos, and we're bringing the heat straight to your doorstep. We're giving you a fiery food experience like never before. For a limited time only, try our new sizzling fiery flavors featuring Reaper cheese on our fiery pizzolis, pizza, cheesy bread, and pizza bowls. Can you handle it? Taste the heat and order one now at MarcosPizzaBahamas.com. The Guardian Media Group has your ticket to Paris. On your marks, get set, go! Join the Guardian Media Group, Star 106 Hits, Guardian Radio 96.9, and Hot 91 FM. And follow Team Bahamas from Paradise to Paris. Live comprehensive updates on Team Bahamas every day during the 2024 Summer Olympics. We are your ticket to Paris. Nassau Guardian Sports Editor Sheldon Longley will be trackside bringing you closest to our athletes in their quest for gold. From paradise to Paris, the 2024 Summer Olympics, live updates, brought to you by gold sponsors, the Bahamas Ministry of Tourism, Jimmy Wines and Spirits, distributors of refreshing Sands beer, silver sponsor, Executive Motors, and the bronze sponsors, Hertz Rent-A-Car, Magico Insurance, Bay Street Garage, 
Nassau Motors, your Chevy and Honda dealers, and New Life Natural. Let the games begin. Stephen Gardner, alongside 100 meter hurdler Devon Charlton. Great news. Ron's Electric Motors' new location on Cowpen Road, right next to Island Luck, is open Saturdays and Sundays. So for those needing repairs on electric motors, generators, welding machines, water pumps, battery charges, electric lifts, transformers, and power tools, Ron's Electric on weekends. Don't forget, you can still visit Ron's Electric Motors on Wolf Road and Claridge Road, and now Ron's new location on Cowpen Road. Dial 356-0249 or 323-5267. This is Gardner. In radio 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. Excuse me for me to eat your child. Boy, come. Let's come right in and be able to get these guys. We got seven minutes before we get out of here. Give me um, uh, 30 seconds telephone calls. 30 seconds, go ahead. How you doing? See Alan Johnson here. What's up, see Alan? Yeah, uh, you know, I got a number of calls from some individuals concerning. Uh, 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 some positions have been put together for when people ask, what is the S&M going to do about the economy and what is the, what uh, are we going to do about Grand Bahama? I understand that Graham called in and basically may have utilized a number of those ideas without giving it proper credit based on the calls that I got. You all have like a little WhatsApp group you ought to share these things in it. Why y'all ain't put me in yep. so I could use your idea too? No, what people do is because I speak, they, they you know, they ask what is it about the F and M that makes them oh, different Graham from is all taking the notes. other F and M okay. and what about the about the PLP? And the positioning is it's the same concept. I think one of the concepts is that and you guys have heard me say this on Guardian a number of times, uh, the concept that money and money don't make money is ideas that multiply money. As okay. well as the thing, there's no doubt in my mind that the, the the concept that Anton is seeking, where you build from the bottom up, from the middle out, will happen under the next FNM administration. He's making an argument concerning the things that are said by the PLP, but you can't put, but Anton has to understand that you can't put new wine in old wine skins. And that's where the, and that's where the problem is. And because if you look to blueprint for change, you know, you, you have a two-year implementation of a platform and anything in there, and you have two years left. So you can't use the expression, next time for the poor, next time for the people. You can't come with that argument. We already sent a message for that. But when you talk about Grand Bahama, right, Grand Bahama, and this is with the ballast for Grand Bahama, and we never talk about Grand Bahama from a true perspective. You have individuals with drive-by, drive-by knowledge of Grand Bahama who hear things and pieces and things and then want to say this is the idea for Grand Bahama. So even when you take the concept that you want to invite people to give information on Grand Bahama, they have to have the which they is. You can't just randomly say, give me an idea for Grand Bahama from a global or even See, I, I can put you on this list too for next week. Huh? I can put you on this list for next week. Let's okay, have a conversation so, as an independent now. Not as an okay. FNM. I don't hear nothing but no FNM. No, no, I only want to talk no, independence I'm, and growth and development ideas. Of no, but, but you know, let's use an example. My, my information goes to the FNM right now because they would have wanted Mr. Penn. I hope they're giving you a check. Is the information ain't free, not in this day and age. Talk to me. No, I'm, no, I'm saying he came, they came seeking to understand these concepts that I've been talking about for over a decade, even to his administration. It isn't that, like, you remember you said it's about leadership? He heard it in his organization, but the leader dictates the direction. The driver, the car, I don't care how much the people in the back scream directions, you know. The man hand on the wheel determines the direction the car goes. You can't My blame God. anyone except for the driver. See, Alan, I got to let you go. Well. I got to let you go. I'm, uh, I got two more calls before we get out of here. But uh, I got you down for next week, so let's see if we can be able to get that together. All right, so that's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven persons so far. Uh, let me take a next telephone call. Call on the line. Go ahead. Mr. Grant, how are you? I'm good, man. What's happening? And, and to the nation, I want one of them critical thinkers. Now, listen, how much people do we have in the Bahamas, uh, Mr. Four, Grant? 399,907, okay, something right like that. right at 400,000. Yeah, yeah, are yeah. you aware, okay, and this is a fact, that you have about 25 people that call every talk show every day, all right, back to back to back to back to back. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you something. I put it to you, sir. And you do not hear from FNMs who are FNMs because you know why? The Platinum Prime Minister Brave Davis have them all working. FNMs are working, C 
COIs are working, PLPs are working, the nation well, tell is the working. Prime that's, Minister, that's, I want a job too. That's Talk why to me. you have, sir, that's why you have 25 people, about 15 COIs are calling the show every day. Six FNMs and a couple of disgruntled, whoever they are. Okay, but They, they couldn't give contract to the next 25? They, see? Say, say that again. They couldn't give contract to the next 25. What happened? Listen to me. No, no, it isn't that, you know. Those 25 have something also, you know, but you know what the problem is? Their thing is the party of their choice should be in power. Keep hanging out the two sides of their mouth and gravy running down their trend. They still have to be obnoxious and call every talk show and don't have nothing positive to say about their country. My God. This is their country. I like it, uh, Mr. Grant. Go ahead. I mean, you have to have something positive at least one day out of the week to say about your country because guess what? Anytime you open your eyes in the morning, that is one of the greatest gifts that you could ever get from God. A gift? That, okay, so God sent the gift, the not the PLP. Let's just be very clear, right? God gave huh? you the gift. Of being able to wake up every morning, you should give you should thank the PLP for that. No, no, okay, no, no. Don't, you should don't, thank clear. God for that. Okay, you should thank God. God for that and stop complaining so much. We as Bahamians complain. We we got to be the children of Israel who God delivered from his. Uh, they from, want from, onion. Uh, Egypt. My God, they want onion. We have to be the children of Israel. We because sick we and tired no of this manner. What blessings we have? No but ain't no matter. You 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 call the, our current condition manna from heaven. Talk to me. That's what you say. Listen. Listen to me. We consider some different countries, Mr. Grant. Consider some different countries and the state of some different countries. The Bahamas is one of the most blessed nations on the earth. Come on, man. Have something to be grateful for. Give God thanks for something. It ain't about the PLP all the time. The point is, this is your country. And the, the second point is, you are the government. Yep. The government Your behavior in 20 says, seconds is up. I appreciate your telephone call. I got... 20 seconds to get out of here. Caller, on the line, go ahead. You got one. Uh, I can't give you a behem in 20 seconds. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, well, yeah, that's it. That's it. I can't take the more call. Another example of the king, Nebuchadnezzar, was arrogant. God took his kingdom. So if leaders blame anything um, about it, then it's ultimately the leader's failure. There's a text coming through. It says, Howard. Ain't no way PLP will win the next election. How are the power rate will be going up every year for three years. Election in two years. The government told Urka to stand down for three years. As the text is coming through, right? So it says that um, the pick don't want to send. But uh, there's three people that they said, you see, I, I paused just now. I can't read all these things. We ain't calling people names. But these particular people are gone. Okay, we can talk about that next week sometime or when I come back. He says, the caller needs to stop calling stats uh, and department. He's a liar, right? Or, or a li Oh, stats department a liar. Let's be very clear. The caller needs to stop calling stats department a liar. This is Texas coming through. Okay. Guys, that's the show today, man. Enjoy your weekend. Uh, do so with safety, with sobriety, with a very clear understanding that every cookie, every brownie is not for your ingestion. Let's be as decent as possible as we're doing that. Have a beautiful weekend. Had a great time with you guys today. I hope to see you all on Monday. God spare our lives as we continue to be able to push forward, upward, onward together right here on The Foundation. Have a great day, guys. Dancing, dancing till the morning. Brought me girlfriend out the gate,